if we want to get the return on investment for the infrastructure that's been built, we have to maximize its capacity. The reduction in overseas referrals by the National Health Insurance Board and InterHealth Canada has not been well received by some residents. However, at a recent luncheon, Chief Executive Officer for NHIB, Brian Hogan, said it is a part of better managing funds for health care. We want to be judicious in how we determine where and when we refer people overseas. And the reason for that is, is that there's only one fund and we all contribute to it and we want to make sure that that fund is managed in such a way that we can call on it when we do have situations that can't be managed on island. Hogan also stated why overseas treatment is easier accomplished by bringing doctors and equipment to our islands to maximize the use of our new facilities. Sometimes overseas treatment is easier accomplished by bringing doctors or equipment onto these new onto the islands so that we can maximize the use of these new facilities. I'll give you just two examples that we've already uh, already experienced. We had three candidates that uh, that required prostate related treatment. Um, our option appeared to be that we would send all three to a facility in Florida until we realized that uh, we have a doctor on island, Ken Peterson, that was capable of doing the procedures if we could just provide him the right couple of tools. And so when we re researched the, uh, the situations, the, the cost of those tools came to a grand total of $1,100. So by spending $1,100, Dr. Peterson was able to perform three additional sur surgeries on island where airfare alone for one patient would have been about 1000 bucks. Never mind the cost of the hospital, never mind the cost of the, tri uh, the, uh, the doctors. The NHIB CEO also made reference to one case where they were able to fly the specialist to the Turks and Caicos at a lower cost than flying three patients out of the Turks and Caicos. He added that in some situations this is not an option, and in these cases the National Health Insurance Plan has been successful in sourcing out the right facilities for the overseas treatment programs. I think it's interesting to note that some of the best reports that we have gotten from our beneficiaries that have come back from overseas treatment, we've probably consistently gotten the highest comments or the best comments from those that have come back from Santiago and the Dominican Republic. And so we're looking to expand these international uh, relationships. And as we, as we work with these facilities going forward, we'll get better and better. In addition to building relationships with healthcare facilities in the region, Hogan says they are talking with healthcare providers in London and Toronto about possible referral relationships there in addition to those in South Florida. For WIV4 News, I'm Artavia Bassett.